Once you are certain that the picture of the reaction obtained is well taken, you have to sample the revealed trace to get the genetic profile. There are two methods for this, but the recommended one is to remove the medium using a scalpel. Nothing is better than a scalpel for cutting the medium where the product reacted. We remove the entire medium that reacted by using a pair of tweezers. We use these instruments to avoid any genetic contamination. We then simply put this medium into a manila envelope. Which, by its very nature, has the advantage of not generating removal molds. Plastic packaging should not be used at all, as it causes mold to appear. So you should always favor this removal method and the use of manila paper. In this case, the reaction took place on a tile, so it's very difficult to remove the medium. We will move on to the second method. Direct removal of the trace using a swab. Just after taking the photo, we'll still have enough luminescence on the medium to take the swab from its sterile envelope and apply it to the zone that reacted. We apply it in the same way as if it were a visible trace. However, you have to lean hard enough because we are taking latent traces that have not been revealed and which contain very little genetic material. So do not hesitate to rub the reaction area well to recover a maximum of the product that reacted on the swab. You should not be satisfied with visible luminescence on the swab because the swab will become luminescent as soon as it comes in contact with the reaction zone. The swab should therefore be applied to the reaction zone effectively. We now put the swab back in its envelope and we will either freeze it or wait until it dries out in ambient air before sending it to the lab for a genetic profile search.